Hey guys, welcome back to Techshan.com. Alright, today we are going to review an interesting mobile phone. You see, starting from the Blackberry, Nokia and other smartphones, it is easy for us to use and become familiar with its interface. Now, what about our parents, grandpa, grandma, elderly people who are detached from the new era of technology and find it really tough to use modern day mobile devices? For them, I have with me an interesting product which I'm about to review. It's called the Eyeball Asan. Now, this is a phone specially designed for elders and people who are not tech savvy or find it really tough to operate mobile phones. Eyeball has done a splendid job on targeting this segment, which other mobile companies have uh, almost ignored. Now, here is the phone I have with me. Now, at a very first glance, you can see how big it's, it's dominated by the keypad. So it's really easy for typing numbers and messages. So first let's have a look at the form factor and then let's run through the specs. So as you can see, this is the phone again. The sides. The back. Compact. Now at a very first glance, as said, it's dominated by the big keypad. The form factor is good. Let's start off with the sides. Now the first, there is a switch to turn off and on the torch. You know, it becomes really easy. One push, it's on. One push, it's off. So that's about the torch. Now the next button comes is the lock button. Now in a traditional mobile, you have to press your uh, uh, call key and the star key uh, to lock the phone. It becomes really tough. Now this phone, to make it easy for the elders, it has to switch at the side, which one push, it locks the phone and one push again it unlocks the phone it's very easy on the sides we have the volume switches up and down and there's a dedicated switch for FM which is built into this mobile we have the speakers and an SOS button now I'll, I'll tell you what this SOS is for apart from that it has a thousand mAh battery which can last up to three and a half hours of continuous talk time and about 250 hours of standby time. The display uh, could have been a little bit bigger, but it's fine. Like when you look at the readability factor, let's type the numbers. As you type the numbers, display big and it turns small to pave way for the next uh, number. And it becomes really uh, easy to read for elders uh, who have the vision problem or who, who use specs. It's kind of nice. Now, the ringer is loud, the ringtone is quite loud and apart from that it has a toolbox when you navigate which comes with a few additional features such as the calculator, reminder, stopwatch, countdown, currency converter, unit converter and a small basic stuff. So it's nice. Now let's talk about the SOS feature which is the highlight of this phone. Activation of the SOS button. This is a push button at the back of the phone. It results in a siren which helps alert people nearby. A person who is using this phone is in an emergency situation and wants to intimate his near dear ones. This comes in handy. Now, what this does is on one push, it activates a siren as you can hear now. Now this helps to alert the people nearby. Apart from that, what it does is you can set five predefined numbers in the mobile setting. It automatically sends an SMS alert to these five numbers and also starts calling them one after the other till the call is answered. So if the call remains unanswered, it, it starts the entire loop again, repeats it three times. So it's, it's really a cool feature which is very useful for the elders when they are in an emergency situation where it becomes really tough for them to pick up the phone, dial the number and call their near dear ones. Overall, a decent phone priced at Rs. 2,990, very handy for elders and it's a boon for them. So now the next question pops up, where can I buy this? You can grab one from ebay.in and infibeam.com. The link to purchase this product is on my blog and being a festive season, it's the perfect gift for your elderly ones. So hope this video was informative. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Texan.com as always for more tech stuff.